Winter is when men are made. Winter is a time to build discipline. When the days get shorter and the weather gets colder, it is not a time to start slipping up. But unfortunately, that time of the year is over. And this is the part two to when winter is when men are made, slash the update of uh, my goals and mindset throughout uh, the winter, guys. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So between working overnights in negative 10 degree weather, sometimes, you know, a lot of times in snow and blizzards, getting caught in blizzards on my commute to work, lots of reflection, you know, sticking to my YouTube schedule, lots of journaling, meditation, self-educating, like trying to surround myself with better people, constantly trying to like have productive conversations and learning stuff from other people. I could say throughout the course of the winter, my goals have changed. And so my goals changed throughout the course of the winter. I believe at the time when the video was posted, I was really focused on trying to take on the appearance of the, of like a, a more of a man because I felt I had the mindset. I just uh, looked like a 150 pound little boy with a, a lack of a beard. That was basically uh, the advice I gave in the video. I said, I'm gonna bulk up, work out a lot, not skip leg days so then I could grow my beard. And uh, I'm, I said I wasn't gonna shave throughout the course of the winter. It got too shaggy uh, and then I had to shave it. It was bothering me in a lot of my videos. Uh, I, I had I let the barber hit it up and then this is uh, the progress now. So this is kind of what I got going on. I kind of really quit caring around January about the progress of that, but my goal has changed from, you know, wanting to do that, the bulk plus uh, growing out a beard basically. And it shifted towards uh, more building discipline of staying at work, uh, my mindset towards my money and uh, throughout all the self-education, I could bring on a million topics of shit that I learned throughout the winter. But what I actually learned throughout the winter or like uh, accomplished throughout the winter was working out and having a beard is not what's gonna make you a man. And it's kind of funny, I, I even had a comment on the video that kind of like, it offended me at the time when I got the video. And uh, I don't know if the guy still watches my channel. Uh, if you do, bro, uh, you, you, you called me the fuck out and you were correct on it. Basically, uh, he said in the comment, he was all like, working out and having a beard and uh, being a pussy is not like what's gonna make you a man. What makes you a man is, uh, you know, developing skills and focusing on your income. And I kind of like, uh, I, act, I got emotional at the time, which is not what a man would do. So I got really emotional and like I told him off. I was like, bro, I've, I've been working my job for two years, da 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 da. And then he, and like I, I, I didn't take it as a chance to learn because after all the like uh, podcasts, books, courses I've like went through, uh, I finally realized in the end as a young man, what's most important to me right now, or like I, I feel like what's working out best for me is working as much as I can then taking the extra money and then investing in my mindset and then also investing in my mindset in like uh, other free ways through like YouTube videos and podcasts and uh, just like talking to people who are like that I have access to who are in like a higher level than me. Other than that, uh, just trying to really focus on my income was one of the biggest mindset shifts that I had over the winter. Uh, I remember I had a, I was having a conversation with one of my work buddies like uh, sometime uh, last year when I first moved into this apartment and I was thinking, I was all like, how do I work five days? And like, I was like, I was, I was talking to him. I was like, I want to work seven days a week, five days. And I want to like get paid uh, $900 for the week and something like that. And, my, and he was like, that's not possible, bro. He's like, you got you to gotta fucking work if you want the money. And at that time, I was trying to, you know, be an Apex professional. So I was really trying to figure out how to get the most time in the day so I could uh, play Apex all day. And going from like that mindset where I was trying to work as, le like, as little as possible uh, so I could play video games to a point where now I'm working literally every single day to the point where my boss is telling me like, hey, you picked up too many shifts, so you can't be working anymore. And then like, I have to take a couple of days off and uh, just like fucking working 12 hour days and stuff like that. Like the mindset shift has been so different, I feel like. And just investing all the money into myself and like uh, reading all these books, taking these courses. I even hopped on a couple coaching calls 
a lot of uh, the the coaches that I even talk to, they say like I'm I'm at where they were uh, like. I'm five years ahead of them, kind of, like, in terms of, like, where I'm at now compared to where they were at when uh, they first, like, uh, got on the same path, you know? So, because, like, I'm like I'm only 20. Like, I'm I'm really young. Not a lot of people are kind of into this stuff. So, it's, it's kind of, uh, I'm still just kind of, like, discovering myself. I guess what I was trying to answer over the winter was how, what would the best, what would the best man do? Or, like, what would a good man do? Like, what could I do to make myself be the best man and I figured just working and trying to figure out how to make the most money possible for uh, like myself my family and stuff like that is the best option for right now um every every influencer you see every self-improvement coach every fucking entrepreneur will say focus on your money first focus on your ability to make money first like they'll always say like a man needs his money i'm pretty sure all of you always heard that you know don't don't chase bitches chase money you know if you chase the money the bitches will come if you chase the bitches the i must have been going too hard right there because my phone went ahead to cut off the recording but you you kind of get like that point so that's just kind of like uh what i learned over the winter uh basically and I say like my discipline has risen because I went from not wanting to work at all to now I'm trying to work as much as possible. I'm putting myself through constant hard shit. Uh, like I used to call in if it would like snow an inch. Now I'm driving to work in blizzards and shit and getting caught out on the side of the highway. Uh, I've I feel like I've been through a lot this winter. Um, and not not really. I only went to work and stuff like that. But like in terms of like what I was used to like last winter a year ago compared to now fucking incredible difference and the best the only thing i want you guys to get out of this video before i waste any more of your time is just basically focus on your ability to make money and then invest that money into uh your ability to make more money focus on making money guys if you're if, if you're a man and your main focus is not making money like your main focus is playing fucking world of warcraft all day or league of legends then it should, you know, you're not gonna win uh like uh, i'm i'm finna pass your ass the fuck up so uh just keep that in mind guys if you got any value out of this uh winters when men are made part two drop a like on the video other than that do some productive today you know any of the things i listed at the start of the video you know do some content creation reflection meditation journaling self-education or uh, just surrounding yourself with better people go go do something like that today but other than that go walk in nature too peace out have a good day